Riding a pump track well is about making speed from good technique rather than pedaling. Yeah, they're great places to ride, especially if you're serious about getting faster and smoother. You can rely on your technique rather than pedaling everywhere. Using the features on the pump track, you want to generate your speed by pumping through them. You don't want to be pedaling, and if you're going to pedal, save it for the flat sections or around the turn. This will avoid you catching a pedal and potentially going over the bars. So how do you make the speed? Well, pumping obviously. This is all about using your weight and trying to squash the bike into the floor. When you do that at the right time, you're going to generate speed. And the right time is at the bottom of the transition. That transition goes from down to flat. Try and squash the bike into the floor. So good pumping technique is all about using your weight. Imagine you're stood on the bathroom scales at home and you want to make yourself heavier. You have to swing your hips down and then sort of push through your feet. And you should see the scales go up. A lot of people with pumping will just crouch and then push their feet away from them. And it will make you a little bit heavier, but not a lot. So think about hips, then feet. And the great thing about pumping is when you get the timing right, it should feel right. Because in the bottom of this transition, everything will squash a little bit anyway. Just try and exaggerate that. When pumping, it helps to have your seat nice and low so you've got space to move around. A hardtail will always be faster than a full suspension bike, so you lose a bit of the pump in that suspension. So actually, with my seat low, I've got loads of space around here. I actually start bringing my hips behind the seat a little bit, so I've got loads of space, big movement. I can make that rear tyre really heavy and go really fast. Pumping is one of those skills that you'll get better at with more practice. Yeah, once you find you've got the skill of doing it, it actually doesn't change a lot. You just get more efficient at where you start and where you finish the, that pump and where you put all that energy in, and you'll get faster really quickly. Once you've got that nailed, you start moving on, start doing things like manuals and jumping. Manualing through rollers is loads of fun, but you can also get a little bit of pump whilst you're doing it. To do that, don't do a massive manual, keep the front wheel relatively low, and on the back of the roller, push your feet down and in to get the pump, and that will bring the front wheel up slightly to carry it over to the next roller. So we've been through pumping and manualing. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about jumping. Jumping's about approaching the jump with a little bit of speed, but you're gonna maximize pushing into the takeoff to get your speed and land smoothly on the transition. Gah, he looks good. You're gonna need to rail the berms on a pump track to link the straights together. Try and get nice and high if you can, look round the corner, and sometimes you can pump berms. It's more of a whip around of the bike than a pump down. Riding pump tracks is loads of fun. Start linking the skills together, manually jumping and railing the berms. That's it for how to ride a pump track. Click up here to watch Brendan Fairclaw on how to ride rollers. And then you can click down there for our jumping playlist and click in the middle to subscribe. Thumbs up, like. Beaumont's catchphrase. <laughs>